aquaponic food safety? What do you need to know? Today we're going to cover the U.S. Department of Agriculture's five recommendations for good agricultural practices for food safety and aquaponics. Food safety is a vital part of any commercial farm. And if you're a commercial aquaponic farmer selling your produce, you might consider following these recommendations, which were formed as part of a pilot study by the USDA Agricultural and Marketing Service. Plants may not be housed in the same tank as fish. This is a pretty simple one. You gotta keep them separated. This means no keeping fish in your deep water culture beds. Many species of fish will also happily snack on your plant's roots, so this makes sense whether or not you're selling your produce. Water that moves between tanks where fish are housed and locations where plants are grown must be filtered at a minimum to remove solids from the water. Now this one is a little vague. How much solids filtration is enough filtration? When solid waste globs onto the roots of our plants, it can cause all kinds of problems and get pretty yucky pretty fast. This means that we want to use some kind of mechanical filtration to remove solids from the water column. There are high-tech and low-tech solutions for removing solids, but it's important for both the health of our fish and our aquaponic vegetables that we quickly and efficiently filter solid waste out of our aquaponic systems. For those of you using coupled aquaponic systems, this means no using media beds as your primary method of solids filtration. Water that moves between crop growing locations and fish tanks and is likely to contact the edible portion of the crop must undergo a water sanitation method. For example, ultraviolet light, chlorination, for ozonation. Now this one is bound to ruffle some feathers. If your water is going to be in contact with the part of the produce you're eating, you'll want to sanitize it between your fish and your crop production. Personally, I really like using UV for this purpose because it doesn't have the potentially harmful chemicals like chlorine or ozone. Water must undergo routine testing at least monthly. Water samples should be taken after the fish tanks. Water tests should be a daily event on any commercial aquaponic farm. But monthly water testing for pathogens is a vital part of a food safety plan. These pathogens are less likely to come from our fish than our staff, with humans being the likely culprit in most contamination events. Unlike your tests for nitrate, pH, and dissolved oxygen, these tests will require you to send water samples to an authorized analytical laboratory for testing. The operation has instituted standard operating procedures to prevent cross-contamination from fish areas to crop production areas. These SOPs must address three key areas. The segregation or sanitizing of tools and equipment used for crop activities and fish activities. For me, the easiest way to do this is just to have two sets of equipment, one for your fish production areas and one for your plant production areas. You can even color coordinate them. How employees prevent cross-contamination by employees, which may include different employees working with fish and crops, hand washing and sanitation instructions between fish and crop activities, and protective clothing requirements. The big takeaway from this is you're really gonna wanna have very detailed instructions on when and how your employees should be washing their hands when moving between production spaces. And lastly, how to prevent the edible portion of the crop from contacting water during harvest. Very important one here. If we're harvesting crops, we want to do so in a way that doesn't splash or drip water onto the edible parts of our crops. This is more of a concern for leafy greens than say tomatoes or cucumbers where the edible portion of our produce is actually several feet away from the water. All produce rinsing should be done with potable water only. This also means no stacking live root plants on top of one another after harvest. For more for information on the USDA's Good Agricultural Practices Aquaponics Pilot Program, you can check out the link in our description. So we just learned about food safety in our aquaponic produce. Interested in learning more about seafood safety? Check out this video here. From UC Davis Aquaculture, I'm Nathan Kaufman.